Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays to yeah, you. You too. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for uh, being able to dodge and weave here. I know your show is a well-oiled machine, and I was supposed to be on earlier. I, I just saw my baby girl for the first time with my wife. We had our first, like, official ultrasound. Yeah, I'm so crazy. Dan, you got I just had a moment there. And I'm thinking Peyton McAfee. <laughs> I don't know if the names are, are oh. now to be discussed. The okay. wife, the wife is going to have a lot of say. Baby girl, I, you know, this is uh, mm -hmm. this is something that she's obviously planned for since she was a baby girl. And uh, I appreciate you moving. It was supposed to be this afternoon, our first official ultrasound. Really, I got moved to this morning because the storm's coming through. So thank you for dodging and weaving in the least favorite. Danette Fritz for making the magic happen. I appreciate you as well. So you, I, I think that's what you you said, not me. I didn't say that you said it on <laughs> me. But Dan, thank you for having me on here. You are a legend. You are the man. And uh, you've been killing it, as you always have been. And I can't thank you enough for everything. Is this your first baby? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Can I help Damn. you with any, any questions? I have three daughters. Okay. Always, so, always listen. Always listen. Okay, and let them know you're listening and don't judge them. They'll tell you everything, but the, the less you preach, the more you listen, the more they'll stay with you the rest of their lives. Okay, I have a son. I love him dearly. My daughters will never leave me, but always, always just listen because girls will tell you whatever you want them to tell you. It's amazing. I bet you're an incredible father. Could you imagine having Dan Patrick as your dad? That'd be one of the that'd be one of the coolest things of all time. Oh, what what's dad doing? Oh, he's going he's going to hang out with Uncle Adam Sandler, yeah. and then he's going to uh, just dominate sports talk and be the voice of sports for decades and decades. I got um I have a lot of friends, you know, that are parents. I'm one of the later in my group of friends to yeah. have uh, a child, and I I was never I was thinking I was never going to either. I was okay with that. I was like, you know what? I was a terrible child. If I don't procreate and create another one of those, that's probably good for society. You know what I mean? Probably good for society. My wife, though, Samantha from Indiana, she just has all the traits that would be an amazing mom and had, had dreams of being a mom. And we got pregnant and she lost the baby. Then we got pregnant and she lost the baby again. Oh. So then we would go through the entire IVF process now. And we're at like every milestone is like a huge deal for us. And uh, I've had a lot of friends reach out to me through it all. And when, right before we did the gender reveal, we found out it was a baby girl. I had my friends all text me. They're like, now, if you, AJ Hawk told me this. He said, you know, me and my brothers, we talk to our parents like once a month. We'll send a text. He was like, my wife will text her dad every single day to make sure she's okay. You want a baby girl is what you like going into the gender reveal. He was like, you want a baby girl? And I was sold. So as soon as the gender reveal happened, I saw the pink things fly. I was like, so ecstatic. I was like, here we go. Let's do this. So thank you for your kind words. And if I have questions whenever she arrives, I will certainly send them I, your I'm way. Right and here. also if we need a babysitter, yeah. I will send her okay. your way. This is what I was thinking with the gender reveal. You could have gotten a football. That when you kicked it, it exploded, okay. and it was either blue or pink. Yeah, a lot of people do that these days. Well, I, I don't know I how it. many punters do. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like actual punt, that would have been a little bit different. But a lot of people send them to me, and uh, they ask me to judge the form. And I'm always like, you know, pretty <laughs> solid swing. See, pretty solid swing. We found out what it was. Uh, we just we want the classic, just um, biodegradable. Psh, little uh streamer thingies okay, in fine. the backyard with family it could have been a little i was thinking maybe get and i was thinking like we get brock lesnar okay brock lesnar will dress in all blue trunks a blue outfit <laughs> and then we'll have like drew gulak come out he's dressed in all pink and then we have michael cole commentating it and then there's like a full wrestling match with like false finishes like oh it's a baby girl oh it kicks out you know <laughs> I was thinking about doing that, and those have been done before in the past, but like we just that. did the, the the exploding streamer thing, and when I saw the pink, I knew that uh, I was I was probably going to end up, and obviously there's a lot of work that comes into parenting, listening, and attention to detail, and caring, and empathy, and everything like that, and hopefully I'll be able to knock all those out of the park, but yeah, it, turns, it sounds like I'm going to have a, I'm going to be, I'm going to have a best little friend forever uh, with a baby girl, and I'm very excited for it, Dan.